there's a lot of dangerous trajectories that could take possibly. Like I built the, I did the chess playing thing, not with anal beads, but th there is, for people who are curious, I discovered this, this is fascinating, there's quite a lot of anal beads and butt plugs and sex toys <laughs> that are Bluetooth connected. It's very, and they have Python what? APIs. So what? if you're curious, you and there's your girlfriend. There's quite a lot of them? Yeah, yeah, they have, uh, uh, so you can program, there's a, uh, I think it's actually called uh, on GitHub butt plug. That's can you the have them like, name. like move to music? A tip, wait, I'm sorry, what? Uh, so tips, music, what do you mean move to music? So there's like, there's like, a set do, of, do, 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 yeah, 100%, 100%. Do, 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 do. I don't know if your ass <laughs> or vagina could feel that. I don't know. I have not investigated any of this, but I clearly do. a lot of people are. Imagine if it syncs to a song. You're yeah. masturbating to In a God yeah. of Eden. No, that's pretty easy, actually, to do. do, 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 do yeah. Do. This is something you, <laughs> you would 100% do. But I don't know. I don't know how much interest this is. But anyway. So the, you could somehow or another use that to send a signal that would tell you night or whatever. Rook yeah, I mean, I, I, I didn't use that. I, I just used the, uh, there's a bunch of devices that can vibrate. Uh, there's just like a s size of a... Uh, uh, just like the size of a, of a quarter, and so I played with that. Have how a camera you, on the... How would it like? How would some? I mean, I don't even know how they theorize. If someone's playing chess and they have a, an anal bead that gives them signals, what? How could it even tell you how to move your pieces around? Like, what kind of a bizarre code would you have to? Well, I'm glad you asked, John. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an answer to this. No, so for a, <laughs> for a beginner like me, so it's just like a mediocre player like me you would use a lot of information, like Morse code. You would say, take this piece, so it's the position of that piece, and move it to here. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of uh, vibration. Right. Uh, for a grandmaster level player, all you need is a very low resolution signal about um, th even just the information of there exists a move here that's not standard, that's going to be very strong. So that sends a grandmaster signal to think about this mm. position. Like, there's obvious moves and there's non-obvious moves. And like, for, I'm just giving you examples of like a grandmaster needs a f much fewer signal. I see what you're saying. So I would, I would, uh, most normal players would need to be buzzing uh, like crazy. But so with Morse code, there's a lot of different ways to uh, compress. Like, if you want to get good at this, it's actually. Um, I forget how many bits of data are needed, but it's very little. But if the easy one is Morse code to just send you the position of the piece. Yep. Yep. The interesting thing that I have not tested, and uh, the audience, uh, the few people in the audience that want to test this, is a lot of the vibrating devices have different settings, 0 to 20. Um, I wonder how sensitive you are to be able to tell the difference between the right, settings. Right, you can kind of like hover the piece of like warmer, warmer, yeah, exactly. colder, colder. So you can have information. Yeah. I don't know if you can get information from the different intensities or does it have to be binary zero one? Um, they weren't playing speed chess, were they? No, no, no. This is the classical game. So you can wait mm. as long as you want. Yeah, maybe you could kind of like hover. <laughs> No, because uh, that's it's, but the way he would cheat is I think it would go. Uh, the games were delayed by a few minutes, I think. So you can't hover. You have to. Mm. You just need have the current state of the chessboard, and, right? Because you have to have the video stream of the chess. You have to somehow. It's two way communication. You have to communicate to the AI, to the game playing engine, to the chess engine. What is the state of the current board? What was the move of your opponent? Right, so and so is there an overhead camera that allows, yeah. so, and the streamed? Yes, it's streamed, yeah. Well, the solution to that would be a delay, right? Yeah, but there's also probably other ways to, uh, like, you can probably send signal on your body somehow yeah. by tapping and so on, what the opponent did. Uh. I don't know exactly how you, you know, it's. I, I think protecting against cheating uh, for over-the-board chess, which is in-person in chess, I think is pretty easy. They just have to take effort to do that like they scanned him which i think if he didn't cheat is kind of embarrassing <laughs> but it's also awesome so um i think he brought a lot of attention to chess yeah and, definitely which is wild like a lot of people were paying attention to it because it was a scandal that's what we like regular chess is boring we want a scandal it's not just a scandal i mean they kind of are looking for the bobby fisher yeah for the young american wild type of character who might be a genius who might not actually be cheating there might be some brilliance here beating the best person in the world magnus carlson over the, right. over the board well that, he's beaten some really good players before right 
Uh, yes, but not not as like he he had a meteor, meteoric rise. Mm. So I think he's beaten some very good players, but mostly people know he's not as good as uh, um, the, he's not as good as somebody who can regularly beat Magnus Carlsen. Also, it's possible he got into Magnus's head because I think Magnus believes him and has believed that he's a cheater for a long time. Yeah, and he really hates cheaters, and so it's possible there's a. Uh, like you, the same with you. Like you hate people that steal jokes, right? Comedians yeah. hate people. Like you might not have a normal interaction with a person that's suspected of um, of uh, having stolen a joke. In the same way, he might have gotten in his head a mm. little bit. Well, he he resigned on his first move yeah. the next time they played. Yep, which is yep. wild. Yep. Well, it's Ooh. a good signal to say I'm not going to play with cheaters. But it could be also there could be a bunch of. Uh, Forces at play there because chess.com sponsors Mag. I mean, there's, there's every single kind of uh, field has their chess. like, yeah, has their has their like centralized organization that has its interest, financial interest. Mm. Um, there's the controversial figure. I mean, the, the dynamic, um, the dynamic of drama plays out uh, like in the same kind of way in all these different fields. But it's still pretty uh, interesting to think. Because we're living in reality, and this is going to happen in, in all kinds of interactions, where we already have AI chess engines that are way better than humans. So how do you still enjoy the game of chess while there's a system out there that's way better than humans? Well, because you're enjoying two people competing. But it's you're, not... You're, a, but you're not enjoying just the movement of the board being the most efficient. You're enjoying watching someone's thought process while they're figuring it out. Yeah, but... That's what it is. For sure, for sure, but <laughs> but it's still not as magical as before when we thought chess was like the the epitome of human intelligence. Now you're like, yeah, but it, it still is the epitome. Well, Go is more complex anyway, yeah. right? And now computers can beat uh, the best Go players. Yeah, which is, which is really wild. It's wild, but you still lose some of the magic when oh, computers can do you're it. You're sweetie. You're such a romantic. It's so cute. Well. For sure. Like, ima okay, imagine, I don't know, so back to sex toys. Imagine a vibrator could please a woman 1,000 times better yeah. than another human can. Yeah, don't be selfish. Use, let her use the vibrator. No, I know. <laughs> but I'm telling you, there's... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So some of the magic is gone of human-to-human -human interaction. Right, but the magic is only magic to us because we're dumb. Yeah. But yeah. you call it dumb. Yeah, I call it currently dumb. Limited Enjoying... cognitive capabilities that <laughs> enable the appreciation of uh, the human condition.